I'm about two years into this sabbatical. It's a Saturday night. I'm watching P.S. I Love You for the 13th time that weekend. I'm a couple knuckles deep into a Nutella jar. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm simultaneously crying into my Cocker Spaniel Tootsie, who clearly, by the looks of it, is ready to file those emancipation letters. You know what I mean? And out of nowhere, my best friend Kristen bursts in the front door. Uh, she had a key because ladies, you know, when your friends are going through a heartbreak, you make a copy so you can do those proof of life check-ins. You know what I mean? <laughs> so she kicks open the door like the spicy Italian she is. And she's like, that's it. She grabs the Nutella right out of my hand, turns off the TV, holds up a dress that's meant for me. And she's like, we're going to a birthday party and a story. And I'm like, no, wait, oh, I can't because Hillary Swank's about to open the final letter from Gerard Butler where he says, it's okay to let go. <laughs> uh, she didn't like that. So she walked up and open hand slapped me hard across the face. Now, the Italian in me understood this because that's how we communicate. <laughs> The half Irish in me, who outweighs her by 42 pounds, wanted to throw her out of the third story window. <laughs> Somehow, she outmanned me. Next thing I know, she's throwing me into a shower, then into that dress, and then into a car. We end up at a Hollywood party. And I know it's a Hollywood party because half the room is filled with 45 to 65 year old men. The other half, nothing but 23 year old supermodels in crop tops and six pack abs. So I'm angry. <laughs> I'm like an angry wet cat, okay? I, I don't want to be there. No one wants to engage with me. I could freak out at any moment. And at that point, Kristen goes, well, think of all the networking opportunities. And I go, whoa, 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 okay. That guy looks like he directs porn and these girls don't have work ethic. What the hell am I doing here? This doesn't make sense, okay? At that point, I'm like, if you need me, I'll be at the food table, okay? <laughs> so I walk over to the food table. Thing is, I told you LA was my second home. Food tables are my first. So, <laughs> I set up shop, and as I'm doing that, Kristen is a socialite, she's buzzing around, and every now and then she'll grab somebody to introduce me to. And under normal circumstances, I would be honored to meet these people. But I have no feelings left and I am numb to the world. So she brings over somebody and she's like, Nicole, this is Anthony. He started all the CSIs. And I'm like, great, Malamar, Malamar, Malamar. <laughs> and she goes, uh, oh, here, and Nicole, this is Melody. She's been on Young and the Restless for 30 years. And I'm like, ah, Nikki Newman, great. Check out this chocolate fountain, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> then lastly, she brings over this guy that looks just like Michael Bay because he's Michael Bay. <laughs> Again, normally it would be starstruck. Uh, he comes up and she goes, Cole, this is Michael. He directed all the Transformers. And I don't know if it was the sugar high, but I said, can you transform these strawberry cream puffs into chocolate? Because that's mama's speed. And then at that <laughs> point, because I'm like, worst case, they'll think it's funny. He didn't. Uh, <laughs> 